Katherine Jackson is firing back at her grandson B.G. Jackson amid an ongoing legal battle over Michael Jackson's estate. Days after B.G., formerly known as Blanket, objected in a court filing to his grandmother using funds from the King of Pop's estate to pay her legal fees in an ongoing dispute with the executors over the singer's catalog sale to Sony, Catherine has filed a response. In the March 20th filing, which was obtained by People, the mother of the late pop icon alleges that the executors are being too frugal with how the estate's money is being awarded to its beneficiaries and argues that they can afford to cover the costs she's requesting. The filing states, it seems clear to Catherine that the executors are holding all of the assets in the estate in order to keep control over them and to avoid the more liberal distribution requirements of the trust. Catherine argues that the executors cannot in good faith contend that the estate does not have sufficient available funds to allow the trust to make the requested payment, per the filing, considering it is currently valued at $1.5 billion. According to the documents, attorneys on behalf of late singer's mother claim that there would be no loss to creditors or injury to the estate or any interested person to cover her legal fees. This vastly exceeds its potential liabilities and leaves hundreds of millions of dollars available for the remainder beneficiaries, the papers state. The filing also argues against a point that the executor's attorneys made at a March 8 hearing, noting that 20% of the estate is to be donated to charities. Nothing in the trust requires those payments to be made before any preliminary distribution to other beneficiaries, the papers read. Catherine herself is not a beneficiary of the estate like the singer's children, but is instead a sole beneficiary of a sub-trust in Michael's will. Catherine and her attorneys also argue in the filing that the court is within its jurisdiction to instruct executors to pay her legal fees and that she properly satisfies all of the requirements for it to do so. In court last Friday, her attorney Adam Pines once again requesting that the estate pay the half a million dollars in attorney fees Catherine has accumulated while appealing last year's decision. Her petition follows BG's objection made on March 18. In the filing obtained by People, he claimed that the Jackson estate wouldn't benefit from paying for Catherine's pending appeal against co-executors John Branca and John McLean, who had wanted approval to move forward with an unnamed recent transaction. While the deal was not disclosed in the filing, it seems to be the estate's estimated $600 million catalog sale to Sony.